Welcome to Geek Antiquities. We've got some more bots coming your way. Mixed feelings for sure about these. Get ready for these red figures. I got these for $3, $3, $3. Now red actually means uh, robot enhanced design. Even if you don't love them, this shockwave comes with a G1 Megatron gun mode here. Galvatron here comes with the matrix of leadership on a chain. The white Ultra Magnus. He's quite a big guy when he has his armor on, but apparently this is what he looks like with it off. Just a, a white Optimus Prime. Some might even say he's uh, naked. They should call him Ultra Magnum. Now each one of them's got some pretty nice accessories. The last red figure I got, I wasn't really a huge fan of it. Let's get these bad boys open. The figure himself leaves a little to be desired by not transforming, but we all knew what we were getting into when we bought a red figure. Just a handful of accessories. All right, that's Shockwave. He does have a good range of motion there. So there's no complaint about the character. Just the real complaint is the lack of transforming. The figures aside, these are worth it just for the accessories. And the accuracy of the character is quite nice. All right, so that was Shockwave. Let's move on to the next guy, Galvatron next. Oh, there's even the background, look at that. Here we go, Galvatron, yes. Knock the crown off Starscream's head. And they do feel a little stiff when you first open them. Here's all of his accessories. Oh, look at that. He has a spot for a Matrix, but no Matrix. Ah, oh, Ultra Magnus here, always getting ripped off. I gotta say, I kinda like these guys. They're not my favorite or anything. They're certainly better than the figures Cyberverse or Earthspark are putting out. Decent range of motion, and a great representation of the characters. Just, come on, transform. Anyways, uh, tell me what you think below. Yeah.